Estes Park has about four miles of shoreline around it. It's part of the, it's the drinking water, the reservoir for Estes Park. And um, something along the lines of uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> The most famous uh, town here in Colorado is Estes Park because it is the, at the foot of the Rocky Mountain National Park and it is also the home of the wildlife here in Colorado, specifically the elk, bear. You can find bear here too, I'm sure. Bear. What else? And All deer. of the other little things like you know, chipmunks and squirrels and mm -hmm. rabbits and raccoons and skunks, all that. They have that here too, but it will be really awesome and it is commonly seen here. You can see big elk here. So we're hoping we can actually find some this time. Estes Park is located in the northwest of Denver City. Its name actually by one of the newspaper editors that is here. Um, the first family that was the white people that first moved here were the Estes family. And after they moved in, the editors decided to call it Estes. And then they added on the park part because it's kind of like a park. Yes. One of the best places to go visit when you're on vacation, come to Estes Park, always go see the lake. There's about four miles of shoreline. You are allowed to kind of hike around it and it's part of the Big Thompson River Reservoir. They get all their water here, of course. You're also not allowed to swim in it. Oh yeah, swimming is not permitted in Lake Estes due to the cold temperatures of this mountain lake. Yes. But families can enjoy playing in the sand and splashing in the water. Yes. Water, yeah. They okay. do have a, a place where you can go swimming, but they got that sectioned off where you're allowed to go there. But the rest of it, you go in there, you're gonna get shocked by the cold temperatures. So they do that for safety. You can see a lot of people here doing boating, yeah. kayaking, kayaking, and things like that. That's yeah. very common here. Fishing, is it allowed to do fishing here? Fishing, I'm not sure. I'd imagine so, but I don't know what fish are here, to be honest. Most people in Colorado, when they go fishing, they do it on streams.
you want to have a very unique experience here in Estes, you should stay in this hotel. This is Stanley Hotel, mm -hmm. a very historical hotel. Can you show it to them? Oh yeah, so this has a lot of interesting things here, especially if you're into the paranormal and horror. So if you are really interested in the paranormal and horror, this is a really unique place for you to come and visit. So Stephen King came here in the 70s to get inspiration for his next novel. He stayed here in the winter and even stayed in room 217 to get inspiration. And from that, he got the book, The Shining. And again, if you take a look here, this is giving you an idea of you know, where he got the kind of ideas for his book. So the story goes, room 217 especially is haunted due to Elizabeth Wilson. She used to be one of the caretakers of the facility back in like 1910 maybe, 19, early 1900s. And from that, there was a electrical storm and all of the power went out. So they had to redo it and get everything charged back up again. She was very ambitious trying to get the candles lit and whatnot in the rooms. And what nobody knew back then was there was also a gas leak on top of that. So when she brought her candle into the room 217, there was a massive explosion and it actually ripped out a big portion of the hotel. She was even blown into the dining hall across the hallway or something like that. She did live, but she was greatly injured. And um, the people that owned the place, they took good care of her, they paid her bills and whatever. And she continued to live here and work here up until her final last days. And then at that point, there is a lot of legend that says that she continues to haunt this place. So, especially in room 217, there have been stories told that you will get there and you will leave your room and come back and all of your stuff is unpacked and tucked and folded away in the drawers. The people didn't do it, but other people, you know, they speculate her ghost did that. There are also stories that are told that if it's a boyfriend, girlfriend, and you're not married, or if you're in an adulterous relationship and you stay the night here, you will feel her ghostly presence trying to sleep in between you guys to separate you That's so that there is no fornication going on. shops, restaurants, bars, whatever you can think of, they got it here.
just went to the CBD store to buy. They this they have cola. all kinds yeah. of different. Yeah, can you show it to them? Yes, okay. sure. This is cannabis soda. <laughs> There's no THC in it. They have fudge. They got um, honey, Oil. oils, drops. Every, I, who knew that they could make it into soda too on top of that so I guess there's so a first time for everything we're both curious so <laughs> that's why we bought this yeah we're not gonna have it now because I gotta drive so I don't I have no idea what this is gonna do or anything so will this drink get me high no why because it's it's just CBD oil it's not it's hemp, it's not marijuana. It doesn't have, well, it has THC in it, but it's so small, it's like a third of a percent. It's very, very low. It's not gonna do anything to you, other than relieve your pain, if you so have any. it contains 20 milligram of you know, broad spectrum say, hemp extract. You gotta be under contract. There you go. God, that, that means- And this one has 23 milligram of CBD and zero milligram of THC. Yeah. So THC is, THC is what makes you feel high. So it's harmful. No, it's not it's harmful. harmful. You, we we did a video earlier where you know one of the side effects that she says is you know I get high from it, but I'd rather have no pain than feel high or and be high mm. than whatever. Yeah. Yeah. They also sell. Creams, yep. oils, creams, honey, capsules, capsules, also. capsules. Yeah, it's good for headache. Yep. Body um, pain. Fudge. They had fudge there, even mixed in mm -hmm. with it. So yeah. Who, who knows, man? Let's try it. Yeah, at home, not right now. I'm not driving in the car while. National Park here in Colorado is the Rocky Mountain, Rocky Rocky Mountain, Mountain Park. National Park. <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> there are so many different mountain ranges to look at. Yeah, to, to be specific. Overlooks, streams. There are, there are 76 mountains, yes. each over 10,000 feet high above sea level. It's, it's so beautiful. There's even places you can just drive. Um, I think it's 30 bucks for a ticket, a national pass, and then you can just enjoy the view all the way while you're driving. If you are the driver, you need to pay attention to the road. You will be very distracted by the yes, views. Yes, because and each national park or trailheads in the park has its own wildlife, beautiful right. sceneries, including alpine lakes, yes. fantastic summits, and stunning views. Um, you might even get lucky and you might see some longhorn sheep. And the parks here are open the whole year round, mm -hmm. but you have to be early. Yeah. Yeah. You have to about get six o'clock yeah, in about the morning. Six in the morning. Yeah, because it's very crowded and most of the parking areas are full, just yeah. like now. Yeah. So, I mean, do what you can, do what you got. So, enjoy the views though when you're here and enjoy all that Colorado has to offer. And um, for those who are interested to come here in Colorado, um, the Rocky Mountain National Park is very accessible because mm -hmm. there are shuttles in Denver International oh, yeah. Airport. That's right. I forgot about that. Good yeah. call. All right. Yeah.